Russia poses a direct military threat to Germany. An armed clash is possible by 2030, according to Bruno Kahl, head of Germany's Federal Intelligence Service. The Russian armed forces should be able to strike at NATO by the end of this decade at the latest, Karl says at a hearing at the Bundestag's Parliamentary Oversight Committee. According to him, the Kremlin views the West and Germany in particular as an enemy. Germany is the second largest supporter of Ukraine. The chances are high that NATO will invoke its mutual defense clause at some point, Karl adds. Putin is seeking to expand the Kremlin's sphere of influence in Europe and push U.S. military forces off the continent as U.S. defense spending exceeds that of the European Union, the intelligence chief says. We are in a confrontation with Russia, Karl says, adding that Vladimir Putin is not just concerned with Ukraine but creating a new world order. Karl's assessment is in line with other European officials who see Russia as a more ominous threat after a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius warned this year that Russia could attack the NATO alliance within five to eight years. According to all international military experts, we should assume that Russia will be able to launch a military attack on a NATO state or a neighboring state from 2029, Pistorius says. The EU's candidate for the bloc's first-ever defense commissioner, Andreas Kubilius, echoed this prediction saying the region needs to build up its military forces for a possible confrontation with Russia in six to eight years. After the war in Ukraine broke out, Western countries began to worry that Russia might invade NATO territory. Alliance officials have so far rejected this possibility, saying they do not see such a threat shortly. President Volodymyr Zelensky has previously stated that the Baltic states, Poland or the Balkans could be the next targets of Russian aggression. In addition, NATO has already developed a defense plan in case of a possible Russian attack. At the same time, the military bloc still wants to strengthen its capabilities. The United States will send a terminal high-altitude area defense battery to Israel, along with the troops needed to operate it, the Pentagon said Sunday, even as Iran warned Washington to keep American military forces out of Israel. Major General Pat Ryder, Pentagon spokesman, said in a statement that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin authorized the deployment of the THAAD battery at the direction of President Joe Biden. He said the system will help bolster Israel's air defenses following Iran's ballistic missile attacks on Israel in April and October. The delivery of the sophisticated missile defense system risks further inflaming the conflict in the Middle East despite widespread diplomatic efforts to avoid an all-out war. The Iranian warning came in a post on the social platform X long associated with Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi, who noted the earlier reports that the US was considering the deployment. Israeli forces and Hezbollah fighters in Lebanon have been clashing since October 8, 2023, when the Lebanese militant group began firing rockets over the border in support of its ally Hamas in Gaza. Late last month, Israel launched a ground invasion into Lebanon. Israel is widely believed to be preparing a military response to Iran's October 1 attack when it fired roughly 180 missiles into Israel. In a brief exchange with reporters before leaving Florida on Sunday, Biden said he agreed to deploy the THAAD battery to defend Israel. Biden spoke at MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa after making a quick visit to to see the damage caused by Hurricane Milton and meet with first responders, residents and local leaders. Ryder, in his statement, said the deployment underscores the United States' ironclad commitment to the defense of Israel and to defend Americans in Israel from any further ballistic missile attacks by Iran. It was not immediately clear where the THAAD battery was coming from or when it will arrive. Lt. Col. Nadav Shoshani, an Israeli army spokesman, declined to provide any timeline for its arrival but thanked the U.S. for its support. The U.S. deployed one of the batteries to the Middle East along with additional Patriot battalions to bolster protections for U.S. forces in the region late last year after the October 7, 2023, attack on Israel by Hamas militants. Ryder also said that the U.S. sent a THAAD battery to Israel in 2019 for training. It also is not unusual for the U.S. to have a limited number of troops in Israel, which the U.S. considers a key regional ally. 
There generally has been a small number of forces there consistently as well as routine rotational deployments for training and exercises. The THAAD will add another layer to Israel's already significant air defenses, which include separate systems designed to intercept long-range, medium-range and short-range threats. According to an April report by the Congressional Research Service, the Army has seven THAAD batteries. Generally, each consists of six truck-mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, radio and radar equipment and requires 95 soldiers to operate. The THAAD is considered a complementary system to the Patriot, but it can defend a wider area. It can hit targets at ranges of 150 to 200 kilometers, and is used to destroy short-range, medium-range and limited-intermediate-range ballistic missile threats that are either inside or outside the atmosphere. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency is responsible for developing the system, but it is operated by the Army. An eighth system has been funded and ordered and is expected to be in the field sometime next year.